Some of those route changes are already happening, and officials with the Westmoreland County Transit Authority told me today if they can't find any more drivers, there's a chance more cuts could be coming. Westmoreland County Transit Authority Executive Director Alan Blahovic was clear as he described the current driver's situation to us. It's certainly an emergency in my eyes. Hopefully we can maintain what we have. Uh, if not, the, the next round of cuts would have to be more severe. The impact right now is on commuter bus service, including routes to and from Pittsburgh. Blahovic says he needs at least 10 drivers. It accounts for about 20% of the overall staff for commuter routes. There will always be options for people. We'll be cutting individual trips on, on routes, but people will still have options to get to Pittsburgh and travel locally. The Transit Authority has dealt with this shortage since the pandemic began. Michael Anderson says he uses the bus system almost every day to get into town from Derry. I wouldn't know what to do because I got to get to and from work. Um, everything I do to get around the county is Westmoreland Transit. In recent months, officials say the number of riders has started to trend back in the right direction. We're still not back to pre-COVID, but obviously with gas prices and people hopefully returning to, to jobs in Pittsburgh, this isn't the time where we want to be cutting routes. We want to be giving them more options. But in order to do that, Blahovic says they need the manpower, something that continues to be hard to come by. The Transit Authority is offering a $3,500 sign-on bonus. A CDL license is needed to drive the big commuter buses. You know, we've seen some of the staffing issues with the Port Authority in Pittsburgh over vaccine mandates. For those wondering, the Westmoreland Transit Authority does not have a mandate in place for employees. Reporting in Greensburg, Jim Madalinski, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.